Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. I was back there in my chair and you absolutely couldn't see me because this 35 pound box filled with third and main Lux winter is bigger than I am. I'm not even kidding you. I was going to do like, okay, it'll be really funny to like do a walk in entrance and sit it on the desk. Not cute. I like, mm -mm. barely got it on here. Look at this thing. It is ginormous. This is going to be full spoiler video for third in Maine Lux winter 2022. This is my very first Lux full spoiler because I did a spring partial spoiler. Then the box has been selling out every single time. There are not a lot of this box left, but there are a few. I'm double checking right now. Well, I'm supposed to be waiting on my email. Like I'm literally supposed to be waiting on an email back from the owners of third in Lux. And I just kind of opened the box and started hanging out with you guys. So they're going to let me know if we're rolling into pre-sale, which is what I suspect they're going to do if this one sells out. So you can pre-sell, pre-order for spring. Um, and I'm working on a coupon code. I don't know if there is one. Once again, I just sent the email and was going to wait for their reply. But then I totally didn't because I'm sitting here right here about to open this box. This box is $499 per quarter, so quarterly, four times a year, and they have two different box options. I'll have to look up and see which one they sent me. And I think shipping's like $24.99, which that's what I paid last week to ship a five pound box. So I legit do not want to know what the real shipping is on a 35 pound box. That sounds intense. Okay, I'm gonna have to push this to the floor. I don't even think my stool can hold this. And we're going to jump in, you guys, because I want to decorate. Okay, I have this camera. <laughs> my chair was back. Oh my gosh. I have this camera is zoomed out as far as possible. Like, have you even seen my macrame? I have a macrame on the wall over here that helps with cell and absorption. I've got curtains. Y'all are about to see all the wallpaper. I feel like I'm gonna need all of this space to open this box. So I'm about to show you the Elegant and Refined box. There are a few of this exact box left. The other option is Gold and Glamour. That one is sold out. I have no idea what is in here except for, I think there are some like, what I call paper trees. I don't know what their official name is. And the only reason I know that is because I was shopping online to purchase the paper trees. When I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, I think Third in Maine has those paper trees. So I emailed them was like, do you have the paper trees? And they were like, yes, but I don't know what they look like. I had a set for years, years and years and years. And they just died. After our move here, I used them a couple times and they were just too worn and torn. Oh my gosh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I am not gonna be able to move that camera and show you this, but y'all are gonna have to see this. So we're gonna go a little old school and I'm gonna show y'all some cell phone images because oh my gosh. Okay, here's the top of the box once I cut it open. It has a 30 main lux sticker. It's like Christmas. And here's what we see on top. It has a gorgeous full-size like magazine full-size catalog and a handwritten note okay let's see what these are about totally a handwritten note from the owner and her team which is so sweet and then I have look at this I've never even seen this you guys that's so crazy so here is the catalog okay I'm not gonna look it does show everything in the box um, we can look at this though this talks about the extra benefits you get as a Lux subscriber. I love this. I'm even learning things looking at this. I knew that they had perks because obviously you're investing more um, than the other boxes. But anniversary gifts, well, some of these things are a duplicate of the regular box as well. Uh, discounts on gift boxes, that comes with the regular boxes. Secret sales for Lux members, that's really cool. Limited box releases and more. 
Very cool. We're gonna flip through this whole thing once I have, oh y'all, literally, that clock alarm is a reminder to not forget my kids at school. Surely I'm not the only mom who has to have that alarm. I have talked to another mom friend. She's picking up the kids, so I don't have to worry. But like, let's just go ahead and go there. Are you a mom who has to have an alarm set on their phone or you will forget to drive to the school and pick up your kids? Okay. I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna kind of open everything. I don't want to throw anything away accidentally. I'm not an experienced Lux box opener. What is this? Oh, oh my gosh. This is just sitting on top, so we're gonna go here first. What is this? Is it like an, a, like a bunch of bowls? Oh yeah, this is so great. It is like the concept of nesting bowls, but they're all attached. So they're all nested together. They don't separate. Look how pretty this is. This would be gorgeous on like an entryway table. So if you walk into your entry, it doesn't matter if it's on the side by the walls or if it's in the center of your entry, having this sit there with a bouquet of flowers behind it so you have some depth and you have some height would be gorgeous. This would also just be beautiful on a coffee table. You could put it on the center of a dining room table. Man, I bet if you're creative enough, you could even hang it on a wall because there are connectors back here. Like if you stuck a screw in the wall, you could connect it and, and the screw would be hidden. This is... Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, let me pull out some of this stuffing that I want to show you the inside of the box. Okay, now that we've taken that bowl out, this is what I see on top. These are individually wrapped. Like this has a Christmas theme wrapping paper, but these are like different types of shimmery and matte based wrapping papers. All of this is so gorgeous. So they did tell me you can choose to go extra and have everything wrapped like I just showed you there, or you can choose a more minimalist approach. So if you're just in general, one of the people who enjoy focusing on saving the earth, reduction of use and all of that stuff, you can tell them not to wrap everything. I have no idea where to start. So we're just going to kind of grab and go and see where we end up. And I, just like I told y'all in the third and main regular video where I unboxed the Modern Farmhouse and the contemporary boxes, which by the way, I know some of those are sold out, but I know others are still available. So if you want to see which box I got, as well as see the spoilers on the other box, go to this video up here, watch it, and see if that box is also a match for you because these boxes, all three of them play really well together. And what I said in that video is to save all these beautiful blank white boxes and you're gonna be set for Christmas because there's so many of them in all the boxes. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh, it's made out of paper, y'all. And I know you're when you hear me say paper, you're thinking paper. I have been decorating with luxury paper goods for forever and they last many, many, many seasons. Sometimes even better than if you were to go get ceramics that crack and break and show distressing. Paper is forgiving and it lasts and looks so elegant. So it is actually like an orb, a ball, and the edges are trimmed in like a gold, maybe a, a light glitter. Very sophisticated, very pretty. You could put this on a tree or you could put it in a nesting bowl of some sort like that. It looks so good. It actually, the whole color of the this orb or ball or whatever we want to call it changed when I got it into that gold. Oh. <laughs> so mine are wrapped. So I get to do the... Christmas present effect. I think it's one of the trees. I think it's one of the trees. It is. Okay. Oh my gosh. It matches this guy. So 
Y'all, this is made of paper. You would never know it. Looking at it, you will never know it. But it's paper with glitter trimmed edges. Here, the well, not even the bottom really gives it away. These are, they're just fun. I, I, I don't know, I'm just a fan. And so I think what they did is not only does this coordinate with it, I think there's multiple sizes in this box. And these look so good when I do mantle designs. Are you a wrapping paper ripper? As you can see, I am. I just start ripping into it. Or are you one of those who goes down and tries to undo it exactly how it's wrapped, whether you save it or not? I don't know. But tell us down below, do you just love to rip in or are you more of a conservative? Ah! No! About to prove my point. Look, where'd my tree go? Hold on. It's still perfect. I'm telling you, if that would have been a ceramic tree, I would have a pile of broken ceramic pieces on the ground. But since it was this guy, it's completely fine. I <laughs> That felt super orchestrated, but I promise you it was not. Ooh. Okay. This looks like it's something breakable. Oh my gosh, okay. What is he made out of? I can see a velvety type texture on the outside of him, but he is hard. So like, he is hard shell, but he's got a beautiful, delicate, velvet-esque outer, oh! Okay. I have to look in the catalog. I like, I have to. So what we'll do is I'm gonna try my best to flip just to these pieces so that I don't spoil anything, but that I can read about these. So this, this and this is the Wish Paper Tree in Ball delicately rimmed in gold for the perfect hint of sparkle. Our paper collection is quaint as it is elegant. Okay, and then this guy is the dark gold connected serving bowl. This serving piece is beautiful and unique. It can stand on its own as a piece of art on your table or it can hang on the wall. See? See? And then the flocked deer. Ooh, a charming set of gently flocked deer in a natural tone. Soften the look of your holiday display and add a little whimsy. Set. Okay. I need to keep digging. I love sets. I mean, I wouldn't have been bothered by one, but I feel like it might have fallen flat in my design if there was only one. Ooh! Oh my gosh, this box smells so good. So I'm guessing candles? We don't normally get scented candles in our home decor boxes. I mean, unless like they're known for their scented candles. They're usually candlesticks or candelabras or pieces and elements for decor. These look like they may be a mix of both. They smell exactly like Christmas. My office smells like Christmas now. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is a, it is a Christmas candle, it's a pine cone candle. And it smells so, so good. So there are three of them. You would not even have to light these, at least not at first. You could just set them on the counter or set them on a shelf or your mantle and they would make the room smell so good since there are three of them. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So, so good. So I'm digging the colors. Still very Christmassy. But you could tie in the, your main color if you wanted to. But if you're like, no, I wanna stick with a more neutral palette, you absolutely could do that as well. So these are the Siberian Fir Scented Pinecone Candles. Your top note is fir needle in pine. Totally can smell that. The middle notes are clove, eucalyptus, and juniper. 
and then the base notes are cedarwood and sandalwood. Like, if you were to take everything that smells like the best, in my opinion, and put it into a candle, it would be this candle right here. So now I'm wondering, because I still have a bunch of boxes in here, if there's like a candle display of some sort. There are easily one, two, three, four, five, six, or maybe seven, eight boxes still to open. I know when you hear $499 for a price tag, you're like, come again? But looking at how many boxes are right here, I think this is gonna end up being a shockingly good value. Oh my gosh. Hold on. It looks like it has a wick, but it, and it, hold on. It is a candle. This is a candle. It's, it talks about how to burn it at the bottom. I can literally see myself in the reflection of this guy all the way around. I feel bad touching the sides because I'm putting fingerprints. I've never seen a reflective candle before. This is gorgeous. Absolutely shocking. I would have a hard time burning that. I guess if you left it on display for a little bit with wear and tear, it probably would get scuffs or fingerprints like I just did, then it would be fine to burn it. But as it is right there, that's like a conversation piece. Y'all, first the wish trees, now this. Oh, I think it's another tree. Cause you, the box almost feels empty. In fact, this box weighs more than this tree does. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Same trimmed with that glitter, the gold accent, but not the same. Uh oh, here we go. This is why I have the camera zoomed way, way out. I was like, we're gonna have a bunch of stuff. I am so happy I got more paper trees. Okay, so in eternity events, this box is teeny tiny, but very heavy. Oh, I think it's another one of those guys. It is. So let's see if I can do this. Here's the two of them side by side. Very, very cool. I mean, I don't know if they're supposed to go over here, but we're working on conserving some space. So we're gonna start our own little version of a display over here. Ooh, he's kind of heavy. Y'all are gonna have to tell me afterwards which item is your favorite. Like I, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm 100% without a doubt crushing on these and these, but I love that those are scented and I love that that has a velvet texture. And then this can be used year round. Like it's not stuck for just the holidays. I gotta grab it. We did get candle holders. I was wondering, Third In Mean's very intentional in the way they curate boxes. So like we get twigs in certain boxes and stems in certain boxes, but we have bases and vases from other boxes that they're always like, hey, take this stem or this raw twig and put it in this vase or this base. And so just to give a candle isn't like them. They have a storyline line behind what they're doing. So having this guy, Totally makes sense. I love it. So could you use it both ways? I mean, I mean, technically you could, you could use it both ways. Look. <laughs> so do I put this guy on there? That's pretty cool. But then of course, this guy on there? I guess y'all could vote. Let's see what they say I'm supposed to do. The not quite silver, not quite gold, luster glass candle holder have a special shimmer. And I do love that as I move it around, 
It is picking up the colors of things around it, which is really, really cool. Oh, it's our other deer. So he is in a completely different shape. So look at him. So when you have them together, you have varying heights. I love that. So if you're, depending on where you're putting them, if you're putting them on a tray, they're gonna look good. On a mantle, they're gonna look good. You can build out depth with them and height. I love these guys so much. Let's put him up front so we can see him better. Oh, okay, this is actually gonna be kinda cool. So, this is what the wish lanterns look like when they get them in store. Then, to save us time, the third and main team assembled our first two. But here is our big one that they did not assemble. And this is what I love about the wish trees. So, if you are wanting to design flat up against your mantle, you do not have to assemble the whole tree. Leave the back of it flat and push it up against your mantle and that's what you see. A very full, lush, gorgeous tree that's sitting flat against the back of it. It looks so cool when you're designing. But if you're like, no, I want the full 360, you just squeeze the magnets in the back and you have a 360 tree. Isn't that super cool? And then the great part for storing is when you're ready to store it again, you can pull this guy, close it, put it in a bin and done. Can you see why I'm a huge wish tree, paper tree, you can call them either fan. They're fabulous. And that's why I had my last set for years, for years and years. Okay, well, we're gonna have to keep moving. Let's move this guy over here. So on this tree, let me just get this little tree for you. You have to kind of look, but if you look, you can find the seam. Literally, once you find the seam, you can slide your thumb down the seam, fold it up close. That's how you go store that puppy. Greatest invention ever. So chic, so elegant, so cute, easy to store, lightweight. You know, we talk about our bins get so dang heavy. This is so good. I'm so, so thankful Third and Main sent those. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm wondering if this is another one of these. The box is the same shape and it says fragile on the outside. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are so great. Like look at this compared to my upper body. This is huge. And these also can be used year round, but they are totally giving me fall vibes as well. I am digging this and this one seems like the same thing. Look, could you flip it? You totally could flip it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, these are so great. Okay, where'd I put this? Here we go. Oh my gosh, it says that there's another one in there. There's th is, This is a set of three. Oh my gosh, hold on. There is still another big box in here. Like, big box. Okay, this box definitely had more things in it than I anticipated. I expected big things. I didn't expect this many things. And here I was thinking the last one was really big. Oh my gosh. So now I know. I was like, which candle do you think? Oh my gosh. 
I am so impressed. I am so very impressed. This is my first full Lux and I am here for it. Of course, I still think it's so wild that I was online shopping for these trees and they came in this box. So then the other box option is the Gold and Glamour. And I only know one item from that box because on the Ask the Pink Envelope private Facebook group, one of y'all shared your daughter holding one of the golden pine cone candles and it was the size of your daughter. It was ginormous. But as you can see here, it comes with the two candle holders, it comes with the two pillar candles, it comes with the gold deer, the set of three natural leaf trees, and a tiered tray with gold leaf, a two-tiered tray. And it's just as gorgeous, just a little bit different. I love that you can customize even this box. And I have, oh man, I don't have my boxes down from the attic yet. I need to basically wait for Jonathan to get back because I need his muscles because I think I have about 15 of those extra large Tupperwares, like the 115 quart Tupperware bins in the attic full of great things. But I had this beautiful wreath I got from 3rd and Main that would look so gorgeous with this right here. I was looking at this and they put these guys in here like I had them. So I was not crazy. They also show like pecans and nuts and things. So a mix of decor and food. I love that. So in the catalog here, you get a whole lot of design tips and tricks that you can follow. So if you get the item and you're not loving exactly what you're doing with it, you can just follow the tips and tricks in here. You also can follow them on Instagram. They're constantly putting great ideas on Instagram. And then they did talk about their holiday shop. You can shop gift boxes for others. You can shop gift boxes for yourself. Of course, they also have the Modern Farmhouse and the Contemporary Boxes. If you don't love someone $499 worth, they have $149 and $129 options, <laughs> which might more, be more reasonable to gift someone else. Very, very cool. Here's the two boxes together. Love, love, love this. I, I, I just, huge thumbs up. Let's just say that. Huge thumbs up. Um... I think the value is a hundred percent there. Mel, third main team, great, great, great job. If you like this box, you're gonna have to boogie. Grab the coupon code down below in the description and go grab it. If you get there and it's already sold out, they typically roll straight into pre-sell. Let's see if they re <laughs> let's see if they've replied to my email now that they've actually had time to reply to my email. Hey Sam, yes, we will roll into spring pre-sale as soon as this box sells out. So if you do get on there, this one's gone. I already know the other option is gone. You can pre-order your spring box for 2023 and you're done. You won't have to worry about anything. The boxes will come in. We'll start decorating and playing with it, all of that good stuff. Of course, if you have any questions about the box, you can put them in the Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group. There are several third and main Lux subscribers in there and they've received several boxes so you can talk, chat with them. Of course, you can chat with me here. I would love to help and I can reach out to third and main at any point. They have a great customer service team and as you can see, they're really fast as well. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, you wouldn't want to miss all the extravagance and beauty that we're gonna see up through the new year. This is the time of year where everybody gets to just do everything, make those wildest dreams come true, and it is so much fun. So please make sure you subscribe and share my channel with a friend. That means the world to me, it means the world to my subscription box owners, and of course, it's so great to share with a friend because then they can order the box and play and chat and decorate with you. I hope that you're having an absolutely amazing November. And if you've subscribed to the channel, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye, y'all. Hi, Paigey. Are you locked out? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Were you hiding outside? No, I didn't want to interrupt you in your filming. Thank you, Paigey. That was so kind. Come look at this. <laughs> Isn't this crazy?